face. Put a smile on your face. You know, you never know. This uh, something small like that might really change somebody's day. Yeah, and on that note, the heat is on. If you want to sing it, you can, Lainey. <laughs> I don't know. I'll let you. On. You have much better <laughs> singing voice than I do. But yeah, it's hot, hot, hot out there for sure. And yeah, we've got sunshine and we don't have to worry about storms. So that is a bit of good news. I know we need some rain. We're going to talk about that coming up. There is Greensboro today with mostly sunny skies. Temperatures soaring, getting into the mid uh, even feels like temps in the upper 90s. If you're headed out to the ballpark tonight, the dash and the grasshoppers are playing. The first pitch is at 630. Get on out there. It's going to be hot and humid. There will be a breeze, though, so that will help. That breeze has actually saved us a little bit today. 95 so far in Greensboro. The record is 101 from 1952. Our average high is 88, so we're well above that. It is the hottest day of the year at 95. We had 92 yesterday. We also had 92 in the middle of July. Our temperature is right now coming down just a touch 93 in Winston-Salem 90 in Reedsville they've got 92 in Asheboro we were earlier in the 90s for North Wilkesboro and Mount Airy but now in the upper 80s heat index values those feels like temperatures are still in the 90s and I did see 99 earlier in Burlington as well as Lexington thankfully our dew points are actually down just a touch just enough so that it's not oppressive heat out there and as I mentioned there's a little bit of a breeze so even that helps some and we are going to have more of a breeze from this front to the north so by this time tomorrow a nice breeze out of the northwest at about 10 to 15 miles an hour and some cooler air will start to move in in time for Saturday. They are dealing with severe weather to our north. Most of that is going to stay up there. The thunderstorms will trickle south. They'll lose some of their intensity. We might get a rumble of thunder, maybe a little shower in some of our northwestern communities by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's another hot day. We don't quite reach the threshold for a heat advisory. That would be heat index values that are in the triple digits. That is forecasted for our communities to the east tomorrow. A heat advisory. If you're traveling in that direction, be mindful. Here's the hour by hour forecast. We have sunshine now, but notice we're going to get some clouds heading into early tomorrow morning. Temperatures start off really warm. We'll have some sunshine. Those clouds will burn off. We'll heat up. And then in the afternoon, we make it an isolated shower or thunderstorm out there, but really this front is going to come through fairly dry tomorrow. So I've only got limited rain chances at 20%. Notice I've got that northwest wind at about 10. That will feel good. You've got 92 for a high. And tomorrow evening, the Relay for Life is taking place at Western Guilford High. We've got temperatures that start off really hot. So if you are spending time out there, make sure that you're drinking fluids and you're taking those breaks in the shade. There's a small chance for a shower or thunderstorm, but I do think it should be dry. For the foothill communities, Jackinville, Elkin, Mount Airy, it's a hot Friday as well with a high of 91. I think any rain chances would probably come before lunchtime for the foothills with the timing of this front. Also coming earlier in the day for the mountains. Mountains, and then a high of about 84 tomorrow afternoon with that breeze. That heat advisory again from Raleigh to Fayetteville does not include our area tomorrow. It's just one county to the east. By Saturday, once that front is south of us, we will have some cooler numbers. Tomorrow's hot, but notice that by Saturday morning, we may actually have temperatures dipping down into the 50s. And then by Saturday afternoon, we do have mostly sunny skies. And I think it's going to be a pretty comfortable summer day for getting out and about. Sunday is the day where we may get some much needed rain in here, showers and thunderstorms. And that takes us into next week where some of those highs are only in the 70s.